Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday and welcome to my week of diamond painting accessory collection videos. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to name the series just yet. I am filming this a little bit in advance, so I haven't decided what to call this series, but today is day one of whatever I decide to name the series. And today we're going to be talking about my storage collection, storage options. I wasn't so sure about including this in my week of collections, but I actually had a couple of comments of people saying, hey, we'd love to see what kind of storage options you have. What are your favorites? What don't work so well for you? So I thought that this would be a fun way to kick off the week. Not like the most exciting video, but we can kind of build up to the grand finale on Friday. So I am going to talk about what storage options I have, which ones are my favorite. I would love to hear what your favorite storage options are in the comments. I'm someone who loves to buy little containers to store things in. <laughs> so I'm, I'm all about it. Now, these are the different types of storage containers that I have, but I only have, most of them, I only have one of the options. So like, for example, this Craftmate lockable, I have two of them. These setups here with the stamp tier storage, I have two of these. So I just kind of pulled out one or maybe a couple of them so that I could just show you what they look like. And then I'll let you know how many I have in my collection. Um, I think we'll just, We'll start from here. So I'm going to make a little bit of room. Some of these are kitted up with drills in them. Some of them aren't. Um, but I'm going to start with these style containers right here. These are the first uh, storage containers that I purchased when I started diamond painting. You can get them on Amazon. I think I have like eight of these. I got an eight pack way back in the day. I don't know how much they would be now. But I remember getting an eight pack for like $15 or something like that. And these are still really great for small kits. You can see I have a project kitted up in here. I worked on flowery silks from Crafties. I used two of these and wherever you don't see a sticker is just a continuation of a color. So like these three are all 819. That's how I use these. Um, they're really great, especially if you work on a lot of budget kits, they tend to just be smaller. Um, but even like a Diamond Art Club snack size or somebody else, these work really well. I like them. So you just have four little containers that are stuck together and then you just pop the top open and pour your drills out and they work just fine. So I will do my best to find as many links um, to things as I can. I don't know if I'll be able to find the exact listing for the ones that I have but I will find this style and link them in the description box. So shortly after I started using those, I started using these containers from Harbor Freight. I purchased four, so I do have four sets of these. Um, and these are great if you're working on a project that has a lot of a color. So these containers here hold one of the giant bags from Diamond Art Club, just for some sort of reference. Um, these are great. They have just a little flip latch here. They open all the way up. They're really awesome to pour drills back into. You're not trying to get them into like a small little space. It's just wide open. These are a favorite. I used to have a larger container that I could put multiple cases of these in, but I think Steven commandeered it for some tools or something, like little drill bits or something. I can't remember because I can't find it. Um, so I do need to buy another one of those, but even just having two of these out on the desk works just fine for me. You get 24 containers in one pack plus the um, large one to hold them all. I have seen a variation of these on Amazon if you're not in the States. Harbor Freight is like a I don't want to say a discount, <laughs> but it's like a little bit of a lower end type of um, tool 
warehouse type of thing. It's kind of like a Home Depot, but like on a smaller scale, I guess you could say. These were $4.99 when I picked them up. I have looked recently. I think they've gone up to $5.99. Um, I had a really hard time finding them in my store, so I just ordered from Harbor Freight's website. Uh, I don't know if they ship internationally, so you may have to go a different route, but I will try to find the Harbor Freight listing and I'll try to find a comparable version on Amazon. These are great though. I really love these. When I don't want to use my brain when I'm kidding up and figure out what size containers I need, these are awesome. Now I do store these on their sides. They actually come like this with the latches facing up. I store mine on their sides because it gives me so much more room to put the label. So putting a piece of washi tape and the label here versus putting a piece of washi tape and a label on this, this is just a better option. So I do keep mine sideways and I've never had any issues with drills leaking out or anything like that. And then it also gives me an option to add in three extra on the side if I need more colors. So those are the Harbor Freights. I have four of these in my storage collection. Next up, I don't quite remember the order of the rest of these. I just remember that those were the first two types of storage that I tried. But let me just talk about the Craft Meat Lockable so I can get it out of the way. I have two of these. Now, these are not the easiest to use because if I have them out on my... You guys can't really see... That's better. If I have them out on my table while I'm diamond painting, I need to have enough clearance to be able to pull these all the way out and that can just be kind of annoying. So I don't use these all the time, but they are easy to use. Similar to the Harbor Freights, if I am just not wanting to use my brain to know exactly what size container I need. These are awesome because a large bag from Diamond Art Club fits in here as well. They look, the size looks deceiving, but these are actually pretty deep and they fit a lot of drills. Now this system works by pushing this lever and then that gives the unlocking mechanism for the individual container. And then once you release it, these ones do not open. However, when you're pouring out of these particular containers, drills often get stuck in the little lever part where this snaps. So I recommend using a spoon. I have a couple of these 3D printed ones from Bella Art Day Nicole. They just look like this and you can just scoop your drills out. I just do a couple scoops into my tray and then it's fine. They're super easy to pour drills back into. But you do want to make sure that <laughs> nothing is stuck in the little wells here because if you're trying to close them, they will not close all the way. And then you'll be pouring drills out and other compartments will be coming open. So they're not the perfect solution, but as long as you're kind of paying attention to what you're doing, they work really well. And I do really enjoy using them, uh, mostly because a lot of drills fit in them. These have... 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 3, 4, 26, 28, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 52, 54, 56 compartments. So a lot of kits would fit in here. Okay. Did I say I have two of those? I have two of those in my storage collection. Next up, we have these containers from Michaels. These do not get a lot of <laughs> love in my diamond painting journey because they don't close all the way. So this actually comes with its own little spoon. You get two of these really large containers. You get 31, you must get 32. I must have counted wrong. Of these medium size ones here. And then you get a handful of these super small ones. Now, when I say that the drills spill out of these, it's because the tops don't actually seal. Like, can you guys see that? That's open. So when you try to put them down, when you store them like this, 
you can get drills that come out of the sides. It's not a deal breaker for me. I just don't reach for this storage system very often. I don't know if I got a faulty one or if it's all of the ones like this. It works fine. I use it for smaller kits. For a while, it was like my designated container for Die Moon Shop kits because it had the perfect number of, <laughs> of um, little containers, but not a favorite, but it's okay. I wouldn't really recommend this one unless you've tried it and have had good luck, then you do you, but not my favorite. I will use it occasionally, especially if I have a lot of things kitted up that I'm too lazy to de-kit. <laughs> We've all been there. Don't judge me. All right. Next up, I have these containers here. Hold on one second, guys. Okay. Never mind. I thought someone was pulling into my driveway. Um, I have these two containers here, which I have apparently... Oh, right. This fell out of my closet. Ha ha ha. <laughs> these are from Amazon. They actually came in a set of two. And these have just the little round bottles that look like this. Uh, these have 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30 containers in it, which is great. Um, good for like a moderate sized diamond painting. And you get two. So you could theoretically have 60 colors that you put for one kit. These are fine. The round screw top containers are not my favorite. They're not ones that I just automatically gravitate towards, but they work. And I don't mind having these available in my collection. Do I feel the need to repurchase them? No, not really, but they work just fine. They came in a two pack, so it was a really good deal. So I went for it. Next up, I have a couple of these cases, which are very popular. This one is two, four, six, eight. There's drills in this one. <laughs> two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 24, 26, 28, 32, 34, 36, 38, 42, 44, 46, 48, 49. This has 49 slots. Why do I feel like I'm really bad at math, guys? So I can't do the like, oh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven high. I can't do that. I'm dumb. <laughs> So I have these containers. Um, I, again, I don't reach for these very often. This one I know is a 60 bottle and it feels like there's a kit in here, but hopefully there isn't. Oh no, there isn't. These I will, however, reach for when I know I'm traveling with a kit. So if I know I'm kitting up a large project that I'm going to be taking up north camping with me, I will gravitate towards these type of storage containers just because I can put Anything else that I might need, I can put in a little net and then I can just zip it up and I know that my drills are secure. I'll probably be kidding up a diamond painting with you guys next week at this point. Um, next week from when you're seeing this, not next week from when I'm filming, um, to take up north. So you'll probably see me kit up with one of these options depending on how many colors are there. These are both, oh, there's a pair of tweezers in here. Look at this. <laughs> These are both from Amazon. Uh, I think I got them both on sale. I think I got this one when it was like a flash lightning deal for like 12 bucks. And I think this one was maybe 15 at the time I bought it. I like them well enough, but they're not ones that I gravitate towards. I have just one of each of these. Yes, I'm looking at my, I keep all of my storage containers on top of the closet in our spare room and I'm looking up to make sure I'm correct, but I am. I only have one of each of those. Uh, last, we're going to talk about my two favorite, my go-to options for storage containers. So in years past, the Elizabeth Ward has been my favorite, but I think that the square Tic Tacs are taking over the top spot. I haven't quite decided, but let's talk about uh, this style first. I have... I think I have three of these that came with containers and then I have one that I bought just the tray because I like to interchange all of my containers. I don't keep them in their original sets. I pull different sizes from different containers so I have an extra tray just so I can have spares in there. Um, but I have three of these with containers, I believe. These are the Elizabeth Wards. They're very popular. And I have all of the, 
all of mine come with the different sizes. So you get the super small, the small, the medium is this one, and then the large is right here. It just wouldn't fit in my setup. Um, all three of my sets have that style. You can also get them where you have just the tiny ones, which I actually want to pick up a tray that has just the tiny ones because I feel like I use these the most when I use this style of storage. The Elizabeth Wards are extremely overpriced. Um, there are a lot of knockoffs. You can get them from AliExpress. I've never shopped on Timu, but I would assume you can probably find them on Timu. Um, Joann's, I think, has their own version, but they're kind of expensive. Mine are all Elizabeth Ward brand, but I bought them way back when I started diamond painting before they were going out of business and then they weren't going out of business and then they were going out of business again. And now they're just really expensive on Amazon. So if I decide to repurchase this type of storage, I would probably just go the knockoff way because they look exactly the same. I think the only thing that I've noticed on the knockoffs is that this handle is different. I actually broke one of my handles off on this side, um, but the handle, like the clip-on handle is different and that's it. So that's fine by me, but these just clip like this. And if this side wasn't broken, just pretend I'm clipping it. Uh, these are great. They hold a lot of drills. I like that you can customize what size containers you're working with. However, if you're not paying attention or if you're not like savvy enough with knowing how many drills will fit in each one, uh, you can run out of room and all of your colors won't fit, which is the problem I ran into with this project. I have two of the really large, um, sizes that just wouldn't fit anywhere so I just have these sitting next to my project but if you're not paying attention you can kind of run into some issues and you don't <laughs> necessarily want multiple of these trays sitting on your diamond painting space because they do take up quite a bit of room these are also a really good option if you're traveling since they do have the lid I find these to be really secure to travel with uh, I will say the longer that I've used them, I'm just good at judging what drill packets will fit in which container. Um, obviously the super small ones fit the really small Diamond Art Club baggies. You'd be surprised, you really would be surprised how many drills you can fit into these containers. So they are a favorite. I think they're a favorite of a lot of people's. They're pretty popular, but sometimes I just don't wanna think when I'm kidding up. I just, want to kid up and enjoy the process. And when I do that, I normally go for either the Craftmate Lockables, like I mentioned before, or the Harbor Freights. But this has become my ultimate favorite way to kit up. These are the square Tic Tac style containers. So by that, I mean they have like the flip top lid like a Tic Tac does. You have no idea how hard it is to say Tic Tac and not Tic Tac. <laughs> but I've never tried the really skinny Tic Tac style containers. I've only used these ones and I only started using these ones within the last year because Brie from Painting with, Painting with Pities, she, like the early stages of her channel, she had shared that she used these with an acrylic style base. So something similar to this stair system, but it was acrylic that she got from Amazon, which is great. Acrylic can just be hard to store for me personally, because I don't have a ton of storage space and I need to kind of be able to stack things. And I just didn't think the acrylic would work for me. So on Instagram, I had seen someone who used this stamp tiered storage from Joann's. I think it was Crafty Kit Kat. I'll have to see if I can go back and find the post. Um, but I think I actually have a setup video on this. I'm pretty sure I tagged the creator. So I will uh, try my best to leave that information in the description. I'll also link these products. So these containers come from Amazon. They come in a case similar to this. It's just longer and shorter just by a little bit. I think you get 30 in there. So I used two 
plus a couple containers worth to fill this. It holds 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 29, 30, 36, 38, 42, 45, 46, 48, 52, 54, 56, 58, 62, 64, 66, 68, 72, 74, 76, 78 containers. So for those really large projects that you're working on, this is my favorite way to make sure I have everything in one space. If I'm traveling, I actually keep the, let me grab them. I kept the little plastic containers that these came in and I can just put in however many I need. And then I can have a little extra space to put anything else that I wanna take with me. Um, but this is just such an easy way. And these are really deceptive of how many drills they hold. They hold a lot of diamonds in these little things. I was shocked the first time I kitted up and I could fit like a large bag of Diamond Art Club drills in here. So I have two setups of these because I love it that much. And obviously I hate de-kitting. Although this is Cabin Porch. I finished this not that long ago. And this at the time of filming in this Elizabeth Ward one is my current whip, which is seize the day. So not too bad, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. That's all my storage. Honestly, when I started pulling stuff down, I thought I had more. So I'm kind of impressed with myself <laughs> that this is what I had to show you. Uh, please let me know down below what your favorite storage system is. There are these little, like, trying to ex think of how to describe them. They kind of look like the Harbor Freights, but they're smaller and you like pinch the sides to get the top to open. Lindsay from Emeralds and Fairy Lights uses them a lot. And I think Daphne from Diamond Painting Anonymous uses them quite a bit. I would be interested to try those. They come in like the type of container that these come in. So I would be interested to try those. Let me know if you've tried them or what your favorite way to store drills is. I know there's a lot of other DIY options. You can definitely buy those little condiment cups from the Dollar Tree or something like that. You can make your own way to store drills. My space is just kind of limited and it's easier for me to be able to buy things that I can stack on top of each other. So that's where I'm at with my storage. I hope you guys enjoyed day one. We have a full week of videos uh, going on tomorrow. What is tomorrow's video? I'm filming this in advance, like I've mentioned, but let's see. Tentatively, I have minders scheduled for Tuesday's video. So now that I've said it, I have to film it that way. So I will see you guys tomorrow for my cover minder collection. I know a lot of you guys are really looking forward to that one. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you then. Bye.